Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. In the face of global environmental challenges, innovative and sustainable solutions are more crucial than ever. Two components have been gaining attention in the global discourse on sustainable development, the Global Environment Facility, GEF, and Green Hydrogen. This video will explore the intersection of these two components, particularly focusing on how the GEF can play a role in risk mitigation for green hydrogen projects. The Global Environment Facility, GEF. The Global Environment Facility is an international partnership of 183 countries, international institutions, civil society organizations, and the private sector. Established in 1991, the GEF has been a pioneer in funding environmental projects in developing countries. Its primary aim is to tackle the planet's most pressing environmental problems related to biodiversity, climate change, land degradation, international waters, chemicals, and waste. As a financial mechanism, the GEF provides grants and concessional funding to cover the incremental or additional costs associated with transforming a project with national benefits into one with global environmental benefits. It serves as a catalyst for financing from other sources, leveraging substantial additional funds for projects that would not have been undertaken otherwise. Green Hydrogen Projects Green hydrogen, produced by splitting water molecules using electricity generated from renewable energy sources, offers a promising solution to the challenge of storing and transporting energy. It's called green because its production process, electrolysis powered by renewable energy, emits only oxygen, making it a carbon-neutral fuel source. Green hydrogen projects aim to integrate this sustainable energy source into various sectors, from power generation and heating to transportation and industry. These projects may encompass a range of activities, such as the construction of green hydrogen production facilities, development of hydrogen-based power systems, or the design and implementation of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Despite its promise, green hydrogen is not without challenges. Its production is currently more costly than other forms of hydrogen and requires substantial investment in infrastructure. These barriers, among others, contribute to the risks associated with green hydrogen projects, creating a need for effective risk mitigation strategies. We will delve into these risks and explore the ways in which the GEF could help to mitigate them, thereby supporting the successful implementation of green hydrogen projects worldwide. Understanding the risks of green hydrogen projects. Green hydrogen projects, while promising, are not without their challenges. It's crucial to understand the potential risks these projects face to develop effective risk mitigation strategies. The risks can be broadly categorized into financial, technological, policy and regulatory, market, and environmental and social risks. Financial risks. The financial risks of green hydrogen projects are primarily related to the high upfront investment required for establishing the necessary infrastructure. The production of green hydrogen via electrolysis, particularly powered by renewable energy, is currently more expensive than conventional methods of hydrogen production. Moreover, there are additional costs related to the storage, transportation, and distribution of hydrogen, as it requires special handling due to its low density and high reactivity. Technological risks. The technological risks are associated with the evolving nature of green hydrogen technology. While the basic technology for producing hydrogen through electrolysis is well established, there are ongoing efforts to improve the efficiency, scalability, and durability of electrolyzers and fuel cells, which are still under development. There is a risk that the technology may not perform as expected, especially at larger scales or in different operating conditions. Policy and regulatory risks. Policy and regulatory risks arise from the uncertainty regarding future policies and regulations related to hydrogen. These may include safety standards for hydrogen storage and transportation, building codes for hydrogen refueling stations, and emissions regulations that could impact the value proposition of green hydrogen. A lack of favorable or consistent policy support can deter investment in green hydrogen projects. Market risks. Market risks stem from the uncertainty about the demand for green hydrogen. As green hydrogen is a new entrant in the energy market, it may face challenges in gaining acceptance and competing with more established and cheaper forms of energy. The transition to a hydrogen-based economy also depends on the development of end-use applications for green hydrogen, which is currently limited but growing. Environmental and social risks. Finally, environmental and social risks relate to the potential negative impacts of green hydrogen projects on the environment and local communities. 
While the production of green hydrogen is environmentally friendly, its storage and transportation require careful handling to prevent leaks, which could be harmful. There could also be social risks if local communities are not adequately consulted or if they do not receive fair benefits from the project. Role of the GEF in Risk Mitigation The Global Environment Facility, GEF, through its various programs and initiatives, has the potential to play a crucial role in mitigating the risks associated with green hydrogen projects. Leveraging its global network, financial resources, and technical expertise, the GEF can help overcome the barriers to the development and deployment of green hydrogen technologies. Overview As an international financial mechanism, the GEF provides grants and concessional funding for projects that benefit the global environment. Through these financial instruments, the GEF can help mitigate the financial risks of green hydrogen projects by reducing the upfront investment required. Furthermore, by co-financing projects with other investors, the GEF can leverage additional funds, making the projects more financially viable. In addition to financial support, the GEF also supports capacity building, technology transfer, and policy development activities. These can help mitigate the technological, policy and regulatory, and market risks of green hydrogen projects. For instance, the GEF can fund research and development efforts to improve green hydrogen technologies, support the development of favorable policy environments, and promote the market acceptance of green hydrogen. GEF's Potential Impact on Green Hydrogen Projects The potential impact of the GEF on green hydrogen projects is substantial. By providing financial support, the GEF can accelerate the deployment of green hydrogen technologies and infrastructure, making green hydrogen more competitive with conventional energy sources. Through its support for capacity building and technology transfer, the GEF can enhance the technical capabilities of developing countries to engage with green hydrogen technologies, reducing technological risks. Moreover, by promoting policy dialogues and supporting policy development, the GEF can help create a stable and supportive regulatory environment for green hydrogen, reducing policy and regulatory risks. The GEF can also help stimulate the market for green hydrogen by supporting pilot projects and demonstration activities, reducing market risks. By showcasing the viability and benefits of green hydrogen in real-world settings, these projects can help increase the demand for green hydrogen. Lastly, through its requirement for environmental and social safeguards, the GEF can ensure that green hydrogen projects are implemented in a manner that minimizes environmental and social risks. This can enhance the sustainability and acceptance of these projects, contributing to their long-term success. Risk Mitigation Strategies Financial Risk Mitigation The GEF can play a crucial role in mitigating the financial risks of green hydrogen projects by providing funding to cover part of the initial costs. This makes the project more appealing to other investors and reduces the overall financial burden on the project. Furthermore, the GEF can facilitate the sharing of financial risks among various stakeholders, ensuring that no single party bears a disproportionate share of the risk. Technological Risk Mitigation To mitigate technological risks, the GEF can provide funding for research and development efforts aimed at improving the efficiency, scalability, and durability of green hydrogen technologies. By supporting pilot projects, the GEF can contribute to the demonstration of technology viability and performance, thereby reducing technological uncertainties. Furthermore, the GEF can support the transfer of green hydrogen technologies to developing countries, helping to build their technical capacity. Policy and Regulatory Risk Mitigation To address policy and regulatory risks, the GEF can support capacity building efforts to help countries develop favorable regulatory frameworks for green hydrogen. This could include the formulation of policies, laws, and regulations that encourage the development and deployment of green hydrogen technologies. By funding studies that provide insights into the potential implications of different policy and regulatory options, the GEF can inform decision-making and reduce policy uncertainty. Market Risk Mitigation The GEF can help mitigate market risks by supporting projects that promote the use and benefits of green hydrogen. By funding awareness campaigns and pilot projects, the GEF can stimulate demand for green hydrogen, thereby creating a market for it. Furthermore, the GEF can facilitate partnerships between different market players, fostering a collaborative environment that can accelerate the adoption of green hydrogen. Environmental and Social Risk Mitigation To mitigate environmental and social risks, the GEF can require that green hydrogen projects adhere to strict environmental and social safeguards. These could include measures to prevent and mitigate potential negative impacts, such as leaks of hydrogen, and to ensure that local communities are consulted and benefit from the project. 
By promoting best practices in environmental and social management, the GEF can help ensure the sustainability and acceptability of green hydrogen projects. The future of green hydrogen projects with GEF. Potential opportunities for risk mitigation. As the global interest in green hydrogen continues to grow, there are potential opportunities for further risk mitigation by the GEF. These include expanding its funding for green hydrogen projects, supporting more research and development efforts, facilitating greater policy dialogue and coordination, and promoting more public awareness and acceptance of green hydrogen. Challenges and how GEF can address them. However, there are also challenges that the GEF will need to address. These include the ongoing need for high levels of funding, the technical complexities of green hydrogen technologies, the uncertainties in policy and regulatory environments, and the need for market development. By leveraging its financial resources, technical expertise, and global network, the GEF can help address these challenges and pave the way for the successful implementation of green hydrogen projects. Conclusion Summary of Findings This video has explored the potential risks of green hydrogen projects and how the GEF can help mitigate these risks. Through its financial support, capacity building initiatives, technology transfer efforts, and policy development activities, the GEF has a crucial role to play in overcoming the barriers to the development and deployment of green hydrogen technologies. Recommendations for future actions. Moving forward, it is recommended that the GEF continues to expand its support for green hydrogen projects, while also addressing the challenges that arise. This will require continued investment, research and development, policy dialogue and coordination, and market development efforts. By doing so, the GEF can contribute to the realization of a green hydrogen economy, with significant benefits for the global environment. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, Visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.